Hello! Now, when most people think of the Dakar Rally, they think Pajero. And that's because this car has won the Dakar an unbeaten 12 times. But I don't know how much racing through Argentina has to do with road cars. And that's because race cars are very loud, very hardcore, and very uncomfortable. And this new Pajero is the exact opposite. And you see that, that's a very tall sidewall and it's a very rare sight on 4x4s these days. And that's because the Germans came into the segment and decided that 4x4s should be able to race around. And that's the thing, the Pajero still feels like a traditional 4x4 and these tires are better able to cope with off-road conditions. And while it's a good cruiser, don't expect to hurry around town in this car. It's more like a ride on an elephant in Thailand as opposed to a ride on an ostrich in Otu. All Pajeros, both the short wheelbase and long wheelbase, will be powered by Mitsubishi's proven 3.2 litre DID turbo diesel. I suppose if it ain't broke, don't fix it. With 140 kilowatts and a hefty 441 newton meters, the car can jump if you need it to, but it much prefers to just waft around. Mitsubishi have made sure that it will run on 500 parts per million dirty diesel, so even if you're in a remote location, refueling shouldn't be a problem. Now it is a bit thirsty, they claim 9.3 liters to the 100 for this car, which is a little bit more than its key rivals. As you have probably guessed, this is the interior of the new Pajero. Now it's pretty typical Mitsubishi in here, no frills, no fuss, but they have hugely improved things with this touchscreen infotainment system and it comes with Bluetooth audio and aux jack, it'll connect to your iPod all as standard and it has a very handy rear camera which is combined with park distance control to help you park because this isn't that easy to park but it's very comfortable, quite luxurious and it makes you feel like you could go and pick up some milk in Botswana. Another thing the Pajero is famous for is offering huge interior space which you access through this very large, very heavy swing door. But it does have a lock mechanism on it so that if you're parked on a slope, it won't fall away from you or try kill you while you're trying to get something out of the boots. Now, as standard with all the seats in place, the boot space is really decent. In fact, another set of seats will flip up out of the floorboards in case you need them. But if you need even more interior space, Uh, it's one seat, and the same for the other side, really easy like that. And then it's almost like double bed. It's very spacious. The range starts at 569,000 Rand for the short wheel base and 639,000 Rand for the long wheel base. Now while the short wheel base is a fantastic off-roader with amazing approach and departure angles, the long wheel base is a lot easier to live with on a day-to-day -day basis and it's the one I'd have. The Pajero compares favorably to its key rivals, the Toyota Prado 3-liter V6 and the Land Rover Discovery 3-litre V6. The Prado range starts at 677,000 and the Discovery range starts at 842,000. So, if you're on a bit of a budget, the Pajero is excellent value. 